Hello my fellow paint monsters, how are you today? I'm Aga and this is Hungry for Paint, a channel about handmade watercolours. Today I'm going to present to you watercolours from Studio Julia K from Sweden. These are again some of my favourites. I've ordered three times from uh, Julia K until now. This is how much I like her paints and I was never disappointed. Actually, the shimmers from Studio Julia K are some of the very few shimmers that I actually like. Julia has an amazing eye for creating unique shimmery combinations. In my opinion, she can choose a great combination of the base undertone and the shimmer. So all in all, I've got two sets, the Almoga set and the Jane Austen set. And I have some singles as well. And today again I'm going to do one video combining the review and the color mixing video into one. I just couldn't wait with the color mixing video and I wanted to do all of it at once. I was so curious to see how these work together that I just couldn't wait. So you're going to see all of it today. The first eight colors on the first page come from the Almoga set. This is a set of colors um, sort of representative for Sweden. And I just love how these go together. I've been painting with these for quite a while. I got these in July last year, I think, and I've been using them ever since. They're just so much fun and go so well together that I often pick this set for whatever I'm painting. Then the next six colors belong to the Jane Austen set, and Julia already had me at the very first color. A beautiful grey that she named Darcy, so obviously this is something for both Pride and Prejudice fans and Bridget Jones fans as well. And all of these colors, they really look so vintage and Victorian and they again go so amazingly well together that it's a pure pleasure just to play with them. The color called Anne is just a perfect skin tone which you can further modify with Nightly to add a blush to it or with Darcy or Elizabeth for shadows. There are two shimmers, Emma and Wentworth, and they're both gorgeous. And again, I just love this set. And the last colors that you're going to see on page two are Ellen, Julia and Johan. And these are the first three colors I got from Julia ever. Johan is a wonderful grayish color with a very green shimmer. And these are just lovely. I painted the last column of the swatch sheet with a black postcap pen to provide a black background to show you how these shimmers look on a black background. And they're just wonderful. This is where they really shine. The watercolors from Julia in general activate easily. The only exception is Sten really and Stig to an extent. But this is to be expected as browns, especially dark browns, are usually hard to activate. All the other colors activate easily, really. They flow very nicely. Some have a strong texture like Stig and Stan. Some are smooth like Tekla or Maria or Disa. Darcy has a wonderful, delicate texture and flows wonderfully smoothly. In general, all of these paints layer really well. But you should know that these paints transfer, some of them quite a lot. So if you're working in a sketchbook, this could possibly pose a problem. I perform the rub test on all of these paints so you can see how much of the paint is going to transfer after it's dried if you rub a piece of paper against them. In general, Stig and Stan transfer the most along with some of the reds. Well, you can see for yourself. In general, I think this is the only problem you could ever have with these paints. Apart from this aspect, they're perfect. In the color mixing section today, I'm going to do not one but two color mixing charts. I want to show you how the colors in the Almoget set work together, as well as I was dying to see how the colors from the Jane Austen set mix together. So I did another color mixing chart for this one. And honestly, it is my private opinion, but I think the color mixing chart for the Jane Austen set turned out drop dead gorgeous. Absolutely. I love it. And I've been using these colors quite a lot. They work very well with the Almoga set as well. They go together really well and they're capable of creating a beautiful harmony together. So I can fully recommend getting these two sets together if you're able to. As always, I mixed some random colors, this time mainly with the shimmers, as I only included two of these uh, in the mixing charts. 
the ones from the Jane Austen set. So here you can see the singles that I have, Johan, Ellen and Julia, together with some other colours. And I tested these paints together with my Sakura Pigma Micron pen. Most of the ones from the Almoge set are going to be transparent enough for you to first do your line work and then paint on top of it. Only Dissa is a bit opaque and is going to cover up your drawing a bit. And you can also draw on top of these paints after they've dried. The line is going to get thicker but it's not going to blur or feather. I feel that it gets quite a lot thicker over Victoria and the pen does not slide so smoothly over stick and stem, but it's not that bad. So overall, if you want to use these together with pens, it's definitely possible. So yeah, that's all I wanted to show you today. I really love these paints, they're well made, they're quite affordable and the shipping shouldn't be too bad if you're inside the European Union and yeah, I can recommend these. Oh, and the packaging is really beautiful as well. Very aesthetic and very professional. And it just feels really luxurious. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you soon. Take good care of yourselves. Bye-bye.